Hi there! In this video, we'll take a look at new features of version 0.38 of the AnyType desktop app. Now, to find your version, you can either go to the Help menu in the lower right corner, where you can see what's new, or you can go up to your text menu of your desktop app, and under About AnyType, you can see the version there as well. So this one is the older one, 0.37.3. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the updates. So this update is for embeds, and these are various apps that you can put their content into your AnyType pages. So initially we had uh, Latex, Mermaid Chart, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, and Google Maps, and Miro. And then in version 38, they added quite a few more apps. So if you do backslash embed on your page editor, you can see that there are a lot more after Miro. So we now have Figma, X, OpenStreetMap, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, GitHub, CodePen, and a few others. The next feature is a quick capture menu. So it's available from the plus icon at the bottom toolbar. If you right click, you'll get this menu with several different objects that you can choose from. And if you select the magnifying glass icon on the left, a regular click will pull up this menu, which has a search for object types. So if you want to use any of the pre-installed objects, like I typed in recipe, you can find that here pretty easily. Let's look at version 38, and it's going to be the same on that bottom toolbar. You will right click to pull up the object menu, and you can see here it looks the same. The difference is you can right click on an object type, and you have another menu that says pin on top. So right now we have the diary entry pinned. And then your default object is the one that has a yellow outline on it. So right now default is note, and I'm going to change it to human as the default. So now when you select the plus icon, the object type that comes up is a human object type. And you can go back down to the plus icon. And here you can see that we pinned the diary entry, so that shows up on the first of this whole list. So to unpin something, you can just go ahead and right click to get that menu. And here we can unpin the object. I'm gonna select bookmark, right click, pin on top. And now when I go back to the plus menu, you'll see that bookmark is the first object that shows up on the left side. The next feature is PDF embed, and in the older version, you can see that the PDF resolution is not that great. The text is a little bit blurry, and you can only have one size. It pretty much just fills up the entire page. Now, in version 38, they did update it so that the resolution is much clearer now, so you can see the text is much more readable, and you also have the object uh, Sorry, you also have the option to change the size. So if you go down to the bottom right corner and click on that corner, you can drag the image size to make it much smaller. And then here, if you wanted to have text side by side with your PDF embed, you could start typing underneath it. Like I'm just gonna type description and then what you can do is hover over it until you see that yellow line and then pull it way over to the right side. Now, right now it did make it even smaller, but um, if you click on it, sorry, I clicked too much. If you drag that bottom right corner, you can expand it up a little bit again to make it fill up the entire column. The last update I'll show you is for featured relations. So. If you have that enabled, um, those are the ones that are starred on your relation menu, you can see on the page or object, it just says enter text. Uh, and if you hover over it, it will show you the name of the relation. And here it says select objects and then um, hovering over it shows author. The update for version 38 is a lot more helpful because now 
you can see the name of the relation. It's grayed out, meaning that box is blank, but it's a lot more helpful than when you have to hover over it. So you can see on the right side, this is the same page. So materials and author is what shows up. And if I go over to the relations menu, you can see um, I have materials and author here but both of those relations are currently empty. So that's why you can see just the grayed out relation name here. So that is just helpful for when you're filling out your pages um, instead of having to hover over them. All right, there were a lot of other quality of life updates in version 38 that I didn't go over. So make sure to check the links below um, for the AnyType community where they list out all the updates for this version.